Identifying. G'day guys, welcome back to Cakes by Chopper. Today I have Kim with me. Kim's Hi. a Perth YouTuber. I've came over here for Christmas and had no people to vlog with, to, because I don't vlog, but um, no people to make cake with. I put a message out there on the Perth YouTuber page and Kim's like, I'll do it, I'll do it. So Kim, tell us what you do. Well, I do a lot of vlogs, so a lot of vlogs about Japan, makeup and fashion. So if you like Japanese makeup, Japanese fashion, then come check out my channel. Or Cakes. She's Cakes. made this little teddy bear that I'm not familiar with. What's his name? Uh, his name's Rilakuma. Rilakuma. I'll leave that up to you. <laughs> <laughs> so check it out. Kim has made this with me. Yes! Oh, yes! yes. I'll show her. <laughs> you want to hold your creation? Yes. I'll drop it. Uh, if you want to learn how to make the cake, stick around, watch the tutorial. And also jump over and check out Kim's channel. She does some cool stuff. Awesome. Thanks for helping me. I Thank you. Have fun. I had so much fun. I love it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, first things first, guys. You're going to head over to Cakes by Chopper's Facebook page. Go to the photo albums. Look in cake templates for 2015. It'll be a new photo album from last year. And print off the Relakama. I can't believe I said that right. Relakama. Print off his template and cut out his body shape and his head so you can just measure how much cake you need from the template. I've used two double unfilled sponge and we only used one and a half actually. So you're going to carve down the sides of his head when you build it up making sure you round off all the edges of the cake. As you can see Kim's doing a great job. When you're carving the cake remember just take off little bits at a time and you can always judge to see if you've taken off enough. On the middle layer of the cake, we angled his arms down, so this would create the 3D shape like his hands are behind his head. Then we filled the cake with the buttercream. This is just a plain strawberry buttercream. And to keep it simple, we just used that for the crumb coat as well. Cover that, smooth it all over, and then cut out his ears and give the same crumb coat ready for your fondant. We matched up the color of Relakama, which is a goldeny brown, which we used some two parts brown, one part yellow, and that just gave it the nice goldeny bear touch. Roll your fondant over the top. Make sure you smooth from the inside out so you don't get any air bubbles. Remove the excess and then tuck in all the corners underneath because that's going to be your finished look. We ended up putting a border around it for the photos, but it's not a necessity. With the excess, you can ball it up and use some corn flour or cornstarch to smooth out any bumps or just to get that nice finished smooth look on your fondant. Now you're going to get some yellow fondant and cut out his ears that will be placed on the bottom corner and this will give it that depth look because if you look at Relakama he's got a little golden insert in his ear. You're also going to cut out two white circles that are roughly the same size. One is for his tummy and one is for his nose or his little snout I guess you'd call it. You can use a brush to smooth out the edges as you've seen Kim do just there and we use the food colour texture to draw on his nose and we weren't quite happy with it so we went and did it with black fondant so it's up to you on what you choose. When you're placing these pieces on make sure you glue them down with a little bit of water use the template to mark out where his eyes would be and that's just so you get the spacing right. Apply the ear pieces and his tummy then there you go you have your Relakama cake. Thank you so much to Kim for helping out. If you guys want to learn a little bit more about Kim here's some videos from her channels Kim's a great YouTuber, she's fun to work with. And I wanted to give a big shout out to Cutson who let us use her kitchen. You'll see a video coming up with her soon. We're gonna make Baymax, so I'm excited. Thank you so much for your patience, guys. I'll see you real soon with a new video. Uh, let's make 2015 huge.